Hello guys, welcome back to Circuit Digest. This is Pratmesh here and today we are going to learn how to interface this PIR sensor with an Arduino. We are also going to tear it apart to see what's inside. So if you want to know how to do that, stay tuned. Let's begin by understanding the fundamentals of the PIR sensor. The PIR sensor is designed to detect changes in infrared radiation in its field of view, making it an ideal component for motion detection applications. On the PIR sensor module, you will find three pins, VCC, ground and the signal output pin. Let's check out the different parts of this PIR sensor now. On the top, we have these Fresnel lenses which can widen the range of this sensor. Now let's open the sensor to see what's inside. On the front side of this circuit, the PIR sensor contains a pyroelectric sensor. This sensor can detect variations in heat or infrared radiation. When motion occurs, this sensor generates electrical pulses. These pulses are then processed to trigger an output signal which we can use to detect motion in our Arduino project. On the back side, we have lots of components. The first is the jumper through which we can jump in L and H modes. In H mode, the output will be high once a person is detected and we need to reset it to make it low. In L mode, the output will go high once motion is detected and then it will go low again when there is no motion. This right here is the signal processing IC. We have two potentiometers, one to adjust the sensitivity of sensor and the other to adjust time delay. Additionally, we have a 3 volt regulator and a protection diode in the circuit. Now let's move on to the exciting part, connecting the PIR sensor to our Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of the PIR sensor to the 5 volt pin of Arduino, the ground pin to the ground pin and the signal output pin to any digital input pin of Arduino, say D5. You can check the circuit diagram on screen for reference or pause the video to ensure your connections are accurate. Detailed circuit diagrams and code can be found in the blog linked in the video description below. Alright, now that we've got our hardware connection set up, let's jump into the software part. So let's start with a complete code. So the code is pretty neat and simple here. First we'll declare our variable which is the PIR pin variable and it is connected to pin 5. You know our PIR sensor is connected to pin 5 from the circuit diagram before. Then in the void setup section. We declare that this variable is basically a sensor, it's an input device and then we start our serial communication giving 9600 as the baud rate and we give a delay of 20,000 milliseconds. Now why this delay is given? Because the sensor, the PIR sensor needs some time before it can give accurate results. So it takes some time to heat up and then it can give results. That's why this delay is there. Let's move on to the void loop section here. You can see we have a if else condition statement here. So we read the data which is, you know, which comes from the PIR sensor and compares it. So if the data coming from the sensor is high, we'll print motion detected on the serial monitor and give a delay of 1000. Else, if the data coming from the PIR sensor is not high, it will print no motion detected on the serial monitor. And there you have it a fully functional motion detection system using an Arduino and a PIR sensor. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like the content we are making, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.